insightful and perhaps also transformative. Uh, we started the morning with a guided japa session by Hari Parshat Prabhu and then had a normal morning program and then we were really impressed by the thorough uh, and thought-provoking but also very I would say in uh, yeah intriguing even no? our curi curiosity was awakened um, uh, the class of our Keshava Maharaj who has come all the way from Vindavan to, uh, to be with us. I still can see there's some dust of Vindavan in his dhoti. <laughs> so uh, he's very fresh from there. It was a wonderful Maharaj. Thank you very much. Uh, you, d you turn out to become a really professor and teacher of the spiritual science. It's very inspiring. And then this morning we were bathed really in an ocean of nectar by Hari uh, Parshat. Uh, let us remember he made a very interesting side note. We all note that we are inspired to sing these verses by him in the proper meter and then often he takes the effort to go uh, bit by bit and also word by word with us through the verses. There's a deep spiritual science behind this. Uh, these Sanskrit uh, words carry within them a very deep meaning which becomes manifest uh, or unfolded, if you so wish, uh, if you focus on them. This uh, is alludes to a theory uh, called the Spota theory, a theory which we find, as far as I know, I have only found it in with the Sanskrit language, that uh, the meaning of it, as you meditate about these verses or and and, and <coughs> meaningful words, the meaning explodes in you. It's, you can almost see it like, uh, you know, these explosives at New Year's or Old Year's End and New Year's beginning. <coughs> There's a, a rain of uh, colors, and uh, I think uh, that. Uh, you did very well and our hearts were very much uh, yeah, surprised. Oh, there's so much nectar and taste in this. No, we, we felt this. So that was there, then I was not there. I only heard the last few lines, our uh, Syamananda and his Kirtan team were uh, very, very, very nicely uh, presenting bhajans and I do know that at the moment in that uh, river house, the house by the river, feverish preparations are met, um, uh, um, are done to prepare pizza for all of you, <laughs> so it's quite eventful. <laughs> in all the different levels of perceptions we, we are served a feast uh, today. Now we will go into the holy pastimes, but before this I want to give you a little understanding of how holy was and in some uh, ways is still celebrated in Vindavan. Mm. It is uh, said that if someone plays holy in Vindavan, Radha and Krishna will fill their lives with the joy of love and the colors of devotion. So you can see that behind this, these colors which you have on your cheeks, some of you have on your cheeks, there is much more than just um, the chemical color industry. Uh, there is a deeper meaning of uh, uh, 
love and you will uh, hopefully if Krishna is merciful he will bring it out in this uh, kata now uh, the traditional way uh, is that during this time people uh, throw colors and spray colored liquids on each other um, and these liquids are made from the following uh, I think eight substances let us see there's saffron in it there's a white scented power that are known as choba and then there's a black power called Ag agatha you remember Krishna told to uh, Madhu Mangal when uh, he saw the, his face and his throat. He was drenched with these colors. Uh, you look like a, a Shiva Lingam, you know, who has been bathed in various substances. Uh, this black powder is supposed to make you blind with love. Uh, <laughs> and then there's sandalwood paste called chandan, vermilion, this is slightly reddish like kumkum, it's like a color that jumps into your eyes mm, and there is a pink colored powder called gulal mm, and in this way uh, there are also the teshu flower is used nowadays mostly what is used when when they use traditional colors is this gulal mm, it is a, a very pinkish Mm, and so on. <laughs> now, mm, there are also four other ways in which the holy mm, is celebrated, not just by throwing or spraying color on each other, uh, but there is the first one is Latma Holi, where the ladies playfully strike their elder brothers in laws with wooden sticks. Mm, and uh, usually they these elder brothers-in-laws um, elder brother-in-law yes uh, they have like shields like like the European Knights <laughs> of all times <laughs> then there is a practice which is taking place in Vashana where the people throw ladus on each other <laughs> uh, sometimes jumping and throwing and and catching it with the mouth I can uh, uh, imagine our Mathura not taking part in this <laughs> uh, and a third uh, type of holy is played in Gokula called Chadimar holy uh, it is when the mothers touch their sons with thin sticks and uh, use a little playful movement uh, also there and then a fourth type of holy that can go quite wild is when um, the sisters-in-law playfully attack their <laughs> brothers-in-law with wet shutters which are drenched in colors and it goes a boom and zoom and boom and zoom and, and uh, so on. All these different types uh, were traditionally played on eight days at eight various parts in Braj. Now the bridge buses are so enthused about Holi that they celebrate for 40 days. <laughs> uh, you are, you are, if you are a conventional um, dhoti or zari lover, uh, the 40 days are dangerous. <laughs> uh, the first day Holi is played in Vashana, this Laduma Holi. You remember? Throwing sweets at each other. How sweet! <laughs> Nothing is wasted, you know. And the second day of holy is Latama holy. That's when the ladies take their sticks and beat playfully. And sometimes uh, maybe they have a grudge <laughs> I <don't> nowadays. <laughs> it's not so playfully. Mm, and it is uh, known that <coughs> during these uh, sometimes quite intense plays, Radha and Krishna appear there. So if anyone is hurt, this can only happen with the Latma Holi, you know, when they take the sticks, boom, boom, <laughs> and say uh, something is coming here and the wrist is slightly breaking, you know, <laughs> no problem. Uh, then what is done is 
you take the dust from where this happened, uh, knowing well that Radha and Krishna were there, and you smear the dust on whatever place you are hurt, and it is healed. Um, and Röntgen uh, measurements show it. interesting results. I was once uh, sick and when I, I saw there was no other hope for me, I got uh, some dust from Vashana and I smeared it. Uh, I don't know if it was a placebo, that means I believed so strongly in it, <laughs> but I know it healed me. And so Radha and Krishna are somehow there. And in this way, the fourth, the third day, there's a small version of Lad Maholi and Nanda Gaon. And then the fourth day, uh, uh, Holi is done in the town of Brindavan, which is with colors and syringes. The fifth day, Holi is played uh, while playing small sticks. That happens in Gokula. The sixth day of Holi is the burning of Holika. I didn't tell you about Holika. <laughs> she is the sister of uh, Hiranyakashipu, and when, and she was a, an evil witch with m magical skills. She, she could inflame her body at will. She could sit and go like, whoop, <laughs> and fire would burst out of her navel and out of uh, various other parts. So when he, Hiranya Kashipu saw that his son Pralat could not be killed, what, uh, not even harmed by his uh, vicious attacks, he said uh, to Holika, you, you take him, you are his auntie, you take him on the uh, your lap and when he sits and uh, there and you have pacified him you just burst into flame and you burn him speak of child abuse that's the verses you know <laughs> to first gain the face of Prahlad and then burn him to ashes so Holika did this uh, she brought him on the lap and uh, uh, talked sweet words and all of a sudden ah! she showed her, showed her vicious nature and tried to burn her, him but uh, since Prahlad was so much protected by the Lord the evil uh, uh, flames or the malicious flames reflected from his body like light from a mirror and uh, burned Holika by the way, there is a village in Vindavan where this uh, pastime is still celebrated. On the day of Holi, a huge fire is, is, is incinerated. It's a fire, um, let us say, um, uh, what call, do you call it? Bonfire, which is the wood is as high as a house, a double story house. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, the fire is burning and then Vanishinga Pujari uh, while chanting the names of the Lord in his mala will just walk uh, through this fire uh, mind you he has to climb up this huge pile of woods which is burning 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 and then uh, he has to, to come on the top and then he has to come down uh, again. Um, uh, it is, I have seen photos of this. I was not present. Also, it's too exciting for an old man to be present for the, uh, this. I, but I have seen various photos. And in one year, this Pujari had lost his uh, Japamala uh, while he was climbing so severely up the pile of wood. When he came down he had no mala in his hand. Now it took a few days for the uh, huge fire to uh, calm down and then they 
uh, sifted through the ashes and they found the Japa Mala unharmed. It was fully intact. Uh, so you can see in Holi there is something which we could call, uh, call it's more than the human dimension, more than the human reality going on. <laughs> yes. So that's the burning of Holika. Uh, then the seventh day of Holi is played in all the other villages and forests of Vindavan. It's everywhere. <laughs> they hide and throw colors. And the eighth day of Holi is played with these wet shutters, remember, in a village called Dauji, the village of Balaram. This is about uh, this is how they celebrate holy and as uh, we heard they are uh, really telling us the bridge basis during this time radha and krishna become manifest and and uh, because they they do like this so much so i want to now start my kata i need to do a few more th <coughs> things um, but it's not in my notes. Um, mm. uh, yes. I, I remember. Ah. Uh -huh. 
work Vrindavan Mahimamrita and brings them to Vrindavan. I would like to do that also so that the kata can be relished more. Leave behind the material world. Enter into the great glory of Brahman. There's light all over. See within this the effulgent realm of Vaikuntha endowed with great variety. Go higher and higher still. We may have to remind the parents uh, that we have something for the children arranged. And wander into the excellent abode, the most radiant Vindavan, if somehow that is your desire. <laughs> Remember in your heart the wealth of Vindavan. Incomprehensible to even Shiva and Brahma. A mine of great wealth of intoxicating most brilliant rasa, most bewildering and astonishing even to Radha and Krishna. Please say, O Vindavan, the intense beauty of your forest is supreme. The sweetness of your blissful qualities is constantly glorified. I will now say alone. O Vindavan, if I already know that a million lifetimes are insignificant compared to you, why do I not give up these insignificant material pleasures, considering them like blades of grass. But I will become fearless by placing the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna, as they are manifested in their ever youthful pastimes, on my head. And this will make me determined and fearless enough to move on. Jayati Jaya Vrindaranyam Etan Murare sings Sanatan Goswami. <laughs> all glories, all glories to Shri Vrindavan, which is gloriously exalted as the most dear, most residence of Shri Murari, who loves to live here even more than in the lotus hearts of the saints or in Sri Vaikuntha Dham. Krishna likes more to stay in Vrindavan. Here in his eternal pastimes he personally tends all the cows and playing the sweetest melodies on his flute gives pleasure to the gopis by increasing their love for pastimes of rasa. So now we should be ready <laughs> to hear about this. Um, uh, so we have heard that when the two messengers of Krishna returned 
everything changed. Who were the two messengers? <laughs> yeah, correct. Subha said, my dear Lord, I, I really don't uh, think we should let the gopis get away with this. They have offended two messages from you showing their superior strengths. If we let this grow, uh, we will soon be out of Vindavan. And uh, Madhu Mangal took another perspective. He said, mm, Krishna, they are not so bad. There was a queue of gopis that honored me and each gave me a Manuhara Ladu. <laughs> and played unprecedented music. L let us go to them, but let us plunder their wealth, not drive them out. So when Krishna heard these two friends, mm, one was encouraging him for Viraras, the other for Madhuyaras, Krishna took action. And the way Krishna takes action, my dear devotees, is he plays his flute. He plays his flutes to indicate how the cows should move. He plays his flute when he wants the Yamuna to become still and firm so that his cows can walk over the Yamuna. He plays his flute if he wants to be Vilda, Ananta, Shesha, Brahma and Shiva. He plays his flute to do many things through music. <laughs> so flute music. Uh, Shukadev Goswami tells us about the flute song of Krishna. Uh, he says what the, how the gopis heard Krishna as a, f a flute. She go pia uvacha, vama bahu krita vama kapalo, valgita bru adara pita venom. Says, when, when Mukunda vibrates his flute, he has placed to his lips, he stops the holes with his tender fingers. He rests his left cheek on his left arm, you know, like this. And he makes his eyebrows dance. <laughs> At this time, the demigod is traveling in the sky with her husband, the Siddha, has become amazed. As those ladies listen, they are embarrassed to find their minds yielding to the pursuit of lusty desires for the company of Krishna. And in their distress, they are unaware that the bells of their garments are losing. So this is all an attractive Krishna. He makes people who listen to his flute helpless so that they search for him. In this world, the flute song of Krishna is manifested as a sacred om which pervades every nook and corner. Uh, let us chant. Uh, percent of the sound is mm. Even 
more detailed sounds, which is the Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare. Manifestations of his flute songs in this world, either the sacred Om or even on a more rasa filled level, the Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna mantra. So this flute sound came like a wave and it entered Radha's ears. When you tickle a child, <laughs> then uh, the child will all of a sudden throw up his ar arms and go <laughs> and manifest all kinds of sounds. Tickling here is a stimulant. The flute sound uh, serves Krishna as a stimulant, an udipan that uh, brings out very, very desirable reactions, especially in Srimati Radharani's ear. She became stunned and dizzy. Her hair stood on end. Tears came forward and her face became first yellow, it was golden, then it became yellow, and then pale. Vishaka stood on her right side and gave her support Shimati Radharani uh, placed her arm on Vishaka's shoulder. There was perspiration all over her body and she leaned her head on the shoulder of Vishaka. Vrinda Devi uh, now knew she had to do some seva, otherwise if before the battle the main players faint, then it's out. <laughs> so she kept Radharani from fainting, but also the gopis reacted. Their hair opened up and their blouses loosened. In general, uh, when the gopis hear the f sound of Krishna's flute, they lose their shyness, which is an obstacle between uh, in, in romantic affairs. Um, they don't think any longer of their duties to their husbands, their fathers their children. They just rush to Krishna. They become absolutely neutral to all the injunctions of the Shastas that, for instance, an unmarried girl should not uh, meet a, a boy of handsome qualities in the midst of the night in the forest um, and so on. Forget, 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 forget. Mm. Uh, and they became highly uh, motivated for loving pastimes. Uh, in the meantime, the Sakas pre uh, prepared their attack. When they heard Krishna's flute, they also took all their flutes out and started to get into the groove. <laughs> <laughs> they, with great smiles and laughter, uh, they played their flutes. They took some vena like instruments and other wind instruments, and then they brought the big war drum. Those of you who have visited uh, Rara Gokulananda Mandi have seen this huge, huge <coughs> drum. It looks like a cooking from the Woodstock festival of Indajonga Maharaj, so big. <laughs> and and uh, it's called a berry drum, say. Berry. Yeah, which is so large that eight sakas, friends of Krishna, 
are necessary to play it with their sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's it. It goes all over Braj. It's really loud. Uh, I talked to Krishna Murari. It takes a good Vrijbasi truck to, to transport that uh, uh, drum. They bring this to Vashana, the Nanda Gaon boys, bring it to Vashana, and in Pilipukur they park this drum, and then they go boom. And then the gopis who are on the in the up there in the Latlila Mandir, they know okay, it gets serious. This is the challenge. The war drum sounds. <laughs> it gets so loud that everyone knows. Now, the beginning of Holi has happened, but there is a problem. Krishna had played his flute. So Lalita became very excited and she ran over to Radha. Hey Radhe, why are you getting bewildered right now? This is not the moment when you should faint. You must be absolutely alert. All your energy should be focused. Uh, look at the Sakas, they are singing Ho Ho! How much pride is in Lalita's heart when she says this. Uh, and then Lalita continues, they really think they can win this war. But don't worry, by the strength of your lotus feet, we will crush them all. And we will also make the son of Nanda fall at your lotus feet. Remember this uh, benediction of Lalita. Mm? So this is not the moment for fainting. Instead, I suggest the following strategy. Let us use every bit of our energy to enter their troop, go to the heart or the center of that uh, army and defeat it there and then spread our victory from there. Today, Radha will conquer Krishna and all the uh, Sakis take their sticks <laughs> and go, yes, 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 today Radha will, <laughs> will win. <laughs> Mm. Then, uh, when as soon as the Sakas will hear the sound of your ankle bells, Radha, all their pride will disappear. And when Krishna hears the sound of your ankle bells, his flute will fall to the ground, his crown will first slip from his head, then it will fall into the dust. <laughs> Usually this is a sign of defeat. Um, then uh, he will lose his pitambara and if the sound of your ankle bell continues he will lose his dhoti. <laughs> At this time he will forget all his suckers, all the cows and he has no other chance than to surrender to you. My dear devotees, uh, today Hari Pashat informed us Vrindavan in holy times means there must be abusive words, there must be instruments, musical, flute and so on, there must be instruments for spraying, there must be sticks, uh, <laughs> there must be attacks and counter attacks and there must be, uh, well, well he said three things but uh, we can add a few more to the list, there must be sweet singing or as Shumit would say, sweet singing. <laughs> no? This is very important. Otherwise, where is Vrindavan <laughs> in the holy time? Uh, so, uh, um, then uh, in Radharani, the Vira Rasa comes. Uh, those who are uh, knowing about Rasa know that there are some Rasas which are incompatible but the Veera or heroic rasa is very compatible with the Madhurya rasa. In the uh, uh, Madhurya rasa there will be heroic activities of love uh, displayed. So they take huge plates full of colored powders, they are bigger than this plate. Uh, they arm 
their bodies with bells. <laughs> I'm thinking of the Berlin police, you know, they have these bells and they have these uh, mean things like tear gas and, and whatever. <laughs> the gopis have also these bells which they put on, but they fill them with colors. Um, some have pots of liquid colors on their head and others via um, quivers, you know, these things you put on the back, uh, filled with balls of fragrant colors and flowers. And all the beautiful gopis are now eager to fight in this battle of love and bang the ground with their flower sticks. It's a lot, they, they bring it, bang it all together and this banging is heard on the camps of the sucker. They hear this banging. My dear devotees, I once saw this pastime enacted according to the this prescription of Narottam Das Thakur in, in, in uh, Jagopal, help me, in the town in Mani, Mani, Manipur. Impal, yeah. There was these really thousands of most beautiful dressed gopis. They have these big skirts and you know when it came to the part when they were banging their pizza, you know, if thousand people do this, it really is clear and this will be a serious love battle. <laughs> uh, so mm -mm -mm. But the gopis practice their skills as they move as an army towards the sakas. The sound gets, gets louder and louder. They reach into their flower, uh, into their bells, and they throw the colors. So when Krishna and the sakas see the gopis coming, they hear this unnerving sound. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the whole sky is filled with a, you know, a array of colors. Yellow, pink, green, black. Black makes you blind with love uh, and everything. Uh, and uh, and uh, 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 this whole army is uh, led by whom? Shimati Radharani. <laughs> yes, she has come out of her fainting spell and is now in the Vira Rasa, the heroic mood. Um, and uh, as she advances, she twirls a blue lotus in her hand, uh, showing Krishna, I will make you twirl around. <laughs> Just like I do with this gopi, <laughs> with, with, sorry, with this, uh, with this lotus. Uh, movement. Mm. Uh, now, as the attack is mounting, there is a cuckoo which goes cuckoo, 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 and Rara takes it as a what is it called? Cuckoo, as a cue, and she begins her attack like Krishna began his. She starts to sing. All the gopis join her in singing. And then they saw, saw, show Krishna and his sakas their pitcheries, their syringes. <laughs> they make attractive hand movements, <laughs> eye movements, gestures, Vrinda dances, Chitra plays the Veena, Sudevi sings, Vrinda plays the Medanga and moves to the rhythm. At this time, Subal watches Krishna and sees how Krishna is becoming dizzy upon seeing Radharani advancing. And he, he says, Oh, Shyama Sunda, every time you see Radha, you keep on asking me, who is she? <laughs> As if you see her for the first time. I don't find it surprising because this is true love. Mm, uh, please, uh, Syama, 
you control yourself now and don't become unconscious. <laughs> and Krishna, who is fully in love, smiles and answers, Hey Saka, you don't know, this is my Radha who is coming. She is an ocean of good qualities. No one can even come close to her. She is increasing her qualities moment by moment. For me, she is both a Rasayana, a medicine that is sweet and healthy, and a Kalpa Vriksha tree that fulfills all my desires. Uh, I forget all other gopis. When I hear the name of Radha, I forget even you, Subal. And the cows in the forest, I forget them also. Everyone tells me that I attract the entire universe, but in front of Radha, it's all different. <laughs> I am known as Madan Mohan, but she is known as Madan Mohan Mohini. So, before we get into the action, my dear devotees, because you will see some very, very loving pastimes, we need to understand Radha from our perspectives here in the world. If you only hear about Radha and Krishna from the perspective of the eternally liberated souls, you might not relate to them in the proper way. You must hear about Radha and Krishna from the perspective of us here in the world. And I cannot find any better uh, entry into Radha's secrets uh, than uh, Prabhupada's very famous lecture. Prabhupada says, Radha Rani is Hari Priya. Please say. Hari Priya. Very dear to Krishna. Yes, uh, uh, I just thought of Hari Priya. Uh, so if we approach Krishna through Radharani, through the mercy of Radharani, then it becomes very easy. If Radharani recommends that this devotee is very nice, then Krishna immediately accepts however fool I may be. Because... It is recommended by Radharani. Krishna accepts. Therefore in Vindavan you will find all the devotees. They are chanting more Radharani's name than Krishna's. Wherever you go you will find the devotees ad addressing Jai Radhe. Jai Radhe. You will find still in Vindavan they are glorifying Radharani. They are more interested worshipping Radharani because however fallen I be, may be, if some way or other I can please Radharani, then it is very easy for me to understand Krishna. I may be the most fallen rascal, but if I try to reach Krishna through Radharani, then my business is successful. Therefore we should worship Radharani first. That is our business. Instead of offering one flower to Krishna, just put it in the hands of Radharani. My dear mother Radharani, if you kindly take this flower and offer it to Krishna. Then Radha says, Oh, you have brought a flower for Krishna? Yeah, this is, uh, it continues for, for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So, mm, Krishna continues to speak. He becomes dizzy and, and he needs something to lean on. And at that time, just look at the land of Vrindavan. The Vrindavan as a land is now also excited for the holy pastime. Uh, uh, a, a tamal tree shoots out of the ground. And Krishna, who is also a tamal, tamal, 
Tamal Krishna, blackish Krishna, takes support from the Tamal tree and leans against the Tamal tree. This means a lot, but uh, mm, uh, uh, Madhumangal, who sees Krishna's ecstatic condition, says, Don't worry, I, say, I see you are dizzy because you are afraid of the gopis who have eyes like lotuses. I see that you have lost your flute. I see that you have lost your cloth. I see that you have forgotten who you are. Um, and I've seen that you have forgotten your friends. But take courage. I'm a brick brahmana. I will fight on your side. So at this moment the gopis start. They throw colors all over the sky. And Radha, seeing Krishna's condition, takes a flower ball, tips it into a bowl of chandan, sandalwood, and <coughs> takes her head back. That time Krishna sees her beauty and throws it right on the chest. And the flower ball explodes on Krishna's chest and drenches him all over with saffron colors and uh, the uh, saffron colors they are smelling very sweet because a certain fragrance clings to the flower ball what fragrance radharani's hand mm. uh, like a proud elephant ex intoxicated with mother it's like like it makes an elephant drunken krishna then takes red kumkum and wraps it all over radha's face these colors red indicates the color of the topmost love and krishna forgets himself in smearing this over radharani's uh, uh, face so radharani makes a paint expression although she is not painted she is extremely pleased and at that moment uh, she takes her lotus hand and hits Siam in the face boom <laughs> in Braj this is called a gulcha gulcha means it's a loving hit <laughs> and if you ever get a loving hit from a bridge basi you know you are accepted in the culture of Braj. <laughs> I still remember there was this great devotee, Madan Mohan Bridge Basi, who uh, we once had, uh, Bhagavati had one of her famous Leelas, and many Bridge Basis used to come and intend these uh, Leelas, which were done in the Braj style. And uh, Madan Mohan Bridge Basi, who is a singer, was singing live during the Leela. So one devotee, Sri Radhika, who was, you know, going by the plan of the Leela, now this, now this, now this, said, you, you stop, I must stop now. Uh, they need to talk now. Madame Mohan was in ecstasy and <laughs> no question of stopping. And again, after five minutes, you, uh, uh, stop. <laughs> and at that time, Madame Mohan just took his hand and <laughs> gave her a gulcha. And uh, Sri Radhika told me that this was the success of her life because they have accepted you. They have broken out of our fragrant ego culture where we are also insecure and also it gets worse and worse. You know, people don't talk to each other any longer. They, they say only the word nice, how nice you are, how nice it is, how nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are the greatest, you are the best. The conversation gets reduced because the ego has become so fragile and insecure. And Braj, a gulcha is very, very, very 
Gut. So, then Verinda Devi steps in and says, uh, we need to stop here. Krishna has broken the rules. He is so strong, uh, but not loving at all. He has stepped forward and he has put with great force the color into Radha's eyes and our Radha is paint. Uh, now, uh, uh, Krishna has no choice. He must accept the punishment of Radha. So Krishna gets an ecstasy because he will get a second culture now. Uh, uh, what, what, what is the punishment? Yes, Radha will color your eyes with kajal. So Radha signals to Sudevi. Sudevi takes a, a pot of kajal and brings it. Krishna stands there and Radha takes her chin, uh, his chin with his left hand. Then he takes, she takes her left hand and pulls Krishna towards him. And with trembling eyes, and she puts the kajal, uh, but not just right on the eye, but around the eye. And she smudges Krishna's face totally, who looks really like a ghost afterwards. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and while this is going on, she takes in the beauty of his eyes and holds them to the heart. Everyone is so happy because you must know the whole idea of Holi is the meeting of Radha and Krishna. No? You have not forgotten. No? It is not uh, like here in this world a fight for superiority. It is, uh, there are total different rules uh, in there. And at this moment the Sakis, in order to enhance the joy, bring forth uh, various instruments, uh, wind instruments like the flute and the shanai, rhythm instruments which they hit with a hand or a stick, uh, then string instruments uh, and uh, so on and all these instruments are conscious and because the sakis are sometimes stunned and don't know how to keep the rhythm and the ragas intact, the instruments play on their own. It's a beautiful Braj concert. Then the Sakis get up, their feet begin to dance. You know, in, in Braj, usually <coughs> this is how the, the dancing starts. First the feet, then the knees, then the waist, <laughs> then the upper body, then the mouth, <laughs> then the eyes, then the eyebrows and then everything dances, the gestures, the hands, and so on. They wave their arm, and so on. Uh, 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 and uh, the Sakas uh, begin to see that the Sakis are winning through their music, the entire battle of, of Holi. Everything is uh, music, music, music. And uh, they become very, very uh, uh, afraid, and they all shout, Ho, ho, hori, ho, ho, hori, ho, ho, hori, ho, ho, hori, ho, ho, hori. Yes. <laughs> and then they start to dance without rhyme and rhythm. And then they dress in totally anti traditional ways. Uh, they um, uh, do the exact opposite of what is graceful and beautiful. They sing whatever they want. <laughs> Some of them dress as women. Yes, this is uh, also there. Uh, it must come from somewhere. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, they, 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 others dress as ghosts <laughs> with very unusual costumes and fancy dress. And still others are dressed like yogis, but don't behave like yogis. <laughs> and they come to support Krishna using the element of shock and tremor. <laughs> <laughs> and you must know that the Sakas will never do anything uh, romantic 
with the uh, go piece. That's not the idea. Um, there is also no at attraction uh, like we know in this world. They all have attraction to one person only. Krishna, you know everything. Yes. Uh, uh, so uh, then they also bring their sticks and uh, and um, but Radha takes there are sticks up. There are sticks made from flowers. And so do the gopis. And then they get down on Shyama and the Sakas and they beat them so intolerably intensely <laughs> that finally the gopis, are, uh, the gopas, sorry, and Krishna are forced to run away with the gopas following uh, 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 behind. At this moment, the whole of Vindavan explodes in laughter. Krishna, the Lord of the universe, the Mahavishnu <laughs> in Vindavan is beaten with flower sticks and he has to admit defeat and run away. At this time, uh, uh, the birds announce, Radharani ki! <laughs> And Vishaka goes around and says, Today Radha has gone victory. Each of the Saki has eight servants and they all spread out, run after the Sakas until they are disappeared in a, in a dust, uh, dust cloud. Uh, and uh, the birds announce in Vrindavan, Everyone listen, be careful. In this land, Radha is the queen. Krishna has absolutely no influence and all shout Nikonyeshwari Shimati Radharani ki jai Vishabhanu Nandini Radharani ki jai before you here we have only five more minutes mm. I request you to understand that in Vindavan everything is reverse. Loss is the highest victory and victory is the highest loss. It's different than here. Loss means to submit in love to the other. Uh, um, Carrying Shimati Radharani and her glories in his heart, Krishna tells his army, you are disbanded, we lost. In a mock show of moroseness, Krishna addresses his friends. My dear friends, please forgive my offenses. I could not lead you in this battle. Now, where I lost my kingdom, I request you to leave me. I'm a defeated king, O oh brothers. No one should associate with me any longer. Now I need to take shelter in Parabrahman, the highest Brahman. And he goes into a kutir. He sits down in a lotus position. He calls meditatively the moon into his heart. Then the sun, then the fire, as it is done in meditation. And in this light, he sees only one person. Who? Shri Radha. But Shimati Radharani is not happy. The holy Leela cannot end like this. She's sitting there. Oh no, my beloved has run away. Now Vindavan is no longer a place for me to be. He's insult insulted. Our victory is our greatest loss. So tomorrow, 
<laughs> it can't stay like this, I know. <laughs> it won't stay like this, but tomorrow we will hear how it will develop. For now, I uh, request you one moment to chant after me. Bhajami Radham Aravinda Netram Bhajami Radham Aravinda Netram Smarami Radham Madura Smithasyam Madura Smithasyam Vadami Radham Karuna Bharatra Mahami Radha Karuna Bharatra Tato Maman Yastiga Tirna Kvapi Tirna Kvapi Bajami Radham I worship Radharani Aravinda Netram, who is eyes like the lotus flower. Smarami Radham, I remember. Shimati Radharani, who has a very sweet smile. I worship Radha, whose mercy is super excellent and great. Tatoma Manyasti Gatir Nakwapi. Indeed, for me, there is no other goal. This is uh, a famous verse uh, of uh, Raghunath Das Goswami, which appears in his uh, collection of verses that uh, come in this Vishakananda Pu. This is a long name, I forgot. Vishakananda mm. Vidastotram. Uh, and it is chanted or it is uh, sung and meditated upon those who are interested in the divine leelas one of these four literatures Vishaka Ananda, Ananda Abhida, Abhida Stotram. Stotram Vishaka Ananda Abhida Stotram um, Yes, my dear devotees, this is another world. Our world is a very poor translation of that world <laughs> with many, many fatal mistakes, uh, you know. Uh, there there is bliss in that world we, we translate it as misery that is total surrender to the pleasure of Radha and Krishna um, and the greatest misery in that world we consider a, our victory that is victory like here <laughs> and uh, to come close to this world my dear devotees some of us may need to engage in therapeutic hearing. Yes, so many of the concepts are just so different from what we know in this world. Uh, but by listening to the verses of these Acharyas, uh, something will rub off in our heart and we will become uh, attracted I remember when I first started with this book mm, uh, Sri Vrindavan Mahimamrita, The Glories of Vrindavan I would only be able to read three verses and then I would have to put it to the side and, uh, It was not even Madhuya Rasa, it was just the overflowing sweetness but I, I only knew the Rolling Stones, uh, you know, and other things, and had no attraction to this. Uh, and, 
Uh, but as I engaged in the chanting uh, and uh, visited Vrindavan and served in Vrindavan uh, in various ways, preaching, sweeping, uh, uh, serving bridge passes, you know, all these, uh, 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 and preaching, preaching, preaching. Uh, uh, yes, something changed and that what was tasted as bitter became the most sweet thing in the world. Now I'm trying to present this and I do know that some appreciate very much for others it's an overdose. Uh, you know, they need to put their head in the bucket of cold water uh, to <laughs> come back into this world. <laughs> uh, but uh, every journey starts with the first step. And I'm very grateful that you come and uh, that you are there and uh, hearing it. I have, uh, I've learned I will need to put a few Hamburg jo jokes maybe in there to, to help you relate. <laughs> Hamburg, they make very uh, stark and, and sarcastic jokes, you know, so it is. But uh, uh, <coughs> Yes, it is very, very nice. So what we will do now is we will engage in another therapy. Today you can see on the altar there has been an intense ba battle of, of colors and it has not stopped yet. The, the supply seems to be unending. <laughs> the green and the red. And uh, we have decided to go the middle way in this holy thing, nothing wild. Uh, we have offered the, the colors where today all, uh, all these colors um, which we will now distribute to you were on the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna. And uh, uh, as we will engage in Kirtan, uh, we request you to come forward. Uh, we thought uh, uh, men on this side yeah oh here is Gorahari he knows everything <laughs> and then we will do Kirtan as we continue but thank you very much and Shimati Radha Rani Ki Vajami Radham Maravinda Netram Vajami Radham Madame Radham. No, 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 first comes something else. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, my mind is a little forgetful. Mm. Yeah. Once again. Vajami Radham Aravinda Netram. Madami Radham Madura Smitas Yam Madami Radham Karuna Baratram Madami Radham Karuna Baratram Tato Mamanyas Gatirna kvapi tato mamanyasti gatirna kvapi. As we are going to the altar, please emphasize with Krishna. He is sitting in blissful absorption in the forest of Vrindavan. It's the greatest day for him to accept public defeat. Uh, at the lotus feet of Radharani <laughs> and he is now meditating and uh, some very amazing Leela will now uh, unfold but that is for tomorrow uh, so 
uh, let us move forward. Uh, actually, first, Gora Hari will uh, say how we will move for, forward. So, all of you who would like to receive the Mahakolar from the deities, we will have four Puja Rishi who will distribute the, the colors. So, you can come at, at the turn. We can have one side the ladies coming, the other side the men coming. And please leave the whole space of the altar open. No one stands waiting here. We can have and it can be peaceful uh, when you see the, the queue is coming down and you can stand up and, and come. And when you come, you can, if the, the, you feel the pujari is not sensible enough to your inner uh, wish, you can, you can mention uh, uh, Dvarka side. <laughs> <laughs> If you are really eager, you can also mention Raj, please. <laughs> <laughs> we will give according to your, your desire. <laughs> At the same time, as the Vajan goes on, I think it's very important because we receive so much impression of the Lila that we actually keep those, like uh, Ari Pashat was saying, those pictures, that we keep them into the heart and that actually what we do now doesn't become something mundane, but that's the directly the colors of Krishna that are distributed. Wonderful. You explain so nicely all this, no? He uh, explains very nicely, no? Oh, 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 oh,
the sky and sing very loudly. Keshava Maharaj, oh Keshava Maharaj. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can just turn it. Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Uh, please, uh, my dear devotees, we will just... Uh, uh, please, uh, Hare Krishna. But it's nice to see you so enthusiastic. <laughs> uh, I thought uh, until the altar closes, maybe 10 more minutes, we will invite our Keshava Maharaj, who has just come from Vindavan. Uh, that's why... Uh, we invite him. Uh, some dust of Vrindavan will go in his, in his <coughs> song. <laughs> Hare Krishna. So, um, it will not be long. But please, Prabhus, you can talk and, and, and shout. Uh, not shout, no one shouts. Uh, <laughs> but you can be joyful afterwards. It's just 10 minutes, Kirtan. For, because after all, it's for the pleasures, pleasure of the deities, no? uh, what we do. So they are still here giving darshan so we will uh, glorify them uh, and so on. 
Uh, but uh, it's nice to see you so lively. Don't, don't stop being lively. It is good. Uh, but just 10 minutes. Put, put your liveliness in the kitchen. <laughs>
शाम को राधा को
Krishna, so just you know, for a few minutes, just sit down, please. Uh, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> you are really uh, uh, 
very enthusiastic. Uh, that means you are very charged up. It's a great pleasure to, the, to have uh, participants in a retreat who, who can really value uh, and, uh, the inspiration. Oh, this was really, I mean, I, I was sitting from, uh, seeing from here everything. Woo! <laughs> I, I thought it must be a little intense for some uh, absolutely new people <laughs> to come into such a uh, room with volcanic energy. <laughs> uh, good. So we still, I want to just say, we still have one and a half days to go tomorrow, Sunday, and then... Uh, I believe we will uh, end with the uh, lunch passadam at Monday, is it true? Yes. So one and a half days only, it went by like a fast uh, roaming tree, uh, a train, train. <laughs> uh, <laughs> trees, trees are not usually so fast. <laughs> <laughs> only in Vrindavan. <laughs> uh, so, uh, please uh, let us therefore retain uh, our good pace. Uh, we could have done Kirtan very, very long, which is a uh, habit which we have uh, here. But we thought better to end here so that you can take your uh, Pashadam and be uh, tomorrow very awake and fully present for the coming presentations of. Uh, anyways, this is what Guru Hari is saying. So, uh, uh, thank you very much, and you look very photogenic. <laughs> Hare Krishna. <laughs>